All right. It should be fun. Might be a little hard. So, this is specifically for paid in. Um, let's see. Paid in first, let's look at. You're just above 90 degrees on that start. Justin's 160, maybe, 150, 160, somewhere in there, with that knee bend. Posture, he's a little more upright here. Here's one thing I want you to look at is watch, watch your elbow. So it starts, it's sort of loaded back, but as you rotate, you're, you don't really turn that right shoulder back, and you're, it's mainly your elbows back more. If you see here with Justin, he turns that left shoulder almost so it's in line, you know, past, past his left foot. It's like almost in line with his left foot. There. Okay keeps that shot back. So right now he's got weight loaded on that right. So your wind isn't even you don't really turn, so you don't you don't actually open up that or bring that right side back. And I even if you look closely, I don't even really like how your thumb is. I want that thumb a little more got in that shot a little more but pinch that shoulder blade back so the right elbow goes back a little bit more. Okay, so your wine, this is your wine, you just, you sort of put some weight on there, on the right side, but you even get off balance. If you watch that, watch that toe, let me clear that, watch that toe on the right foot, right in there. So, the toe comes up a little. And you watch your pinky. You're playing around with the shot with your pinky. But if you have that elbow back a little bit more, you might get a little bit more control on the shot. Okay. So let's watch closely here. So right when that left foot almost directly straight in the back uh, he's starting to push from that right side now you don't really start pushing from that right side until right there okay so your foot is a little bit more opened Compared to Justin's is right, his right, his right foot actually starts moving right here. Okay. Now let's look. That left side is already opening on on your throw, Payton. Through here. So Justin picks up a little late on his entry, and this forces him to over-rotate. I actually have an analysis of this video. This is one of my favorite video uh, throws, but it does have some technical things that I would try and improve. Um, but I still obviously like using it. So Peyton, you don't pick up. And if you see... Justin it's pretty wide here now the part I don't like about Justin's throw is that that left knee is pointing down the left sector line so he over rotates a little bit but he's still pretty freaking wide with that sweep so Peyton you don't push much and you're as you're grounded you're still grounded still grounded and that left knee See how on Justin's throw here, Justin starts moving forward right there. He's, 
he's starting to come forward. You're still just over rotating everything here. And that left arm, I want that left arm down just a bit, a little bit. So I want that hand like a little more in line with the waist. Justin's hand, I, I would prefer more like here. But here's the here's the next part that you can look at is based off of you know when that right is grounded. Justin's knees already bent. The left leg's about halfway through the circle. On your touchdown, the knee, the leg straight, and you're just getting off that left. So as you, if you can keep that knee in line here, rotate that right side past the blue line. Like this is this blue line should be split in your body, and then. To catch up, you end up kicking that left side really high. So keeping that bent. So you got to get off of that left sooner, and that will even help prevent that over rotation as well. So let's compare, like right here. His spine angle is a little more upright here. Yours is leaning, which is also part of the reason why I think your left foot gets so sky high. Now you can see when that left's coming around, your weight's really falling forward. Whereas if there was a pole here, Justin's rotating around that pole. So this is right when the left gets grounded. Left arm's back here. As that left's grounded, he's opening up that left shoulder, but the shot's staying back behind the right. Your left still's not down yet. And because of the spine angle of your torso here, this is a hard one. You're rotating sort of on this weird axis instead of Instead of being a little more upright like Justin is, right here, I mean, he's, if you drew this line, he's literally just rotating around that. So as that left grounds, he stays back on the right and then opens that left shoulder and then rotates forward into it. Your left floats. This is all stemming mainly from how you're entering out of the back. Left floats. And then to get out of this, you end up having to jump. Because you're because of this spine angle, you end up having to jump out of this position. So because you can't rotate forward because there's no momentum going forward from out of the back. Because right here is where you need to to start moving stuff forward. Okay. So what I want you to think, paid in, keep that shot back a little more. I want you to, where your knees are right now, that's actually where I want you to start, and I want you to open like to open that right side a little bit more back by keep and keep that right shoulder back and then push from that right over more and really focus on that left knee and not over rotating left knee stays tight here see that right so late the right is so behind that left knee already right foot and then as soon as as soon as it passes the left, and this is where you're not dorsiflexing, you gotta keep that foot up, dorsiflex more here. Then you're doing this real high left foot kick instead of a. If you were a little more upright, that left could rotate around that, the center point. So, but I want you to start out of the back, focusing on load that right more, keep that elbow back, and then. Push more around the left, push around the left, don't 
over rotate the left knee. Focus on that. Let's fix that first. <laughs> 